Hey everybody! Welcome to Stumped. This is Ash, and we are playing some more City Skylines. Oh man, you guys. Last episode, we did not have very good times trying to uh, get this, uh, get our industry populated with workers. You can see we've got a whole bunch of factories here that do not have enough workers. And really, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I'm trying to figure out why they don't have enough workers. I, I thought it was a not, not enough educated worker problem. Um, you got 12, I, I, I don't, I don't totally get it. We, we've got a whole bunch of educated workers, not enough uneducated workers, maybe? I don't know. Uh, maybe we're educating our citizens too much, so that's why I've only built an elementary school for the squiggles. So hopefully, hopefully they can be the dummies that work there. Um, I also thought maybe there just wasn't enough roads connecting to the, our industry, so... I've connected um, this posh riverfront area um, up here, and I've also drawn another bridge up here to our farms, which are also not getting nearly enough workers, as you can see. So I'm hoping that that maybe uh, corrects that problem. So we're gonna unpause here, see see what if they keep on abandoning us. I've also sent some. Um, since we last played, I've also fixed uh, our garbage up a little bit down here. And as you probably saw, I, I drew us a another part of this district. Um, man, I just really hope that we can... I, I, I don't even know what the problem is, really. Um, people are just keep on... <gasps> we became a big city! Stumpton is a big city, y'all! What We get a water treatment plant that's huge! And a crematorium. What does a crematorium do for us besides the cemetery? It's a modern way to process departed is through the use of thermal energy. Coincidentally, it also saves space. I see. So it just doesn't take up as much space as a cemetery, but it provides the same service as a cemetery. Obviously, I know what cremation is. I, I just didn't know if it made our citizens more happy or what. Um, but water treatment plant is actually great. Or at least it's it's great for me. I feel bad dumping all of our poop out here. So um, we've got a crap ton of money from becoming a big city. So yeah, we'll build some water treatment plants and get that going. Because look at how brown and sludgy our water is here. It's just all poop. Um, people are still abandoning us. I don't get it. Um, so we're just going to leave that alone for right now. Uh, but man, look at look at how awesome our city is. Look at all of this high density stuff. I love it. I love how high dense. Oh man, let's just fly through our our street here a bit. This is so cool. Ooh, there's a cinema. That's awesome. Stumpton, y'all. All right. In the last episode, I also asked you guys to help me name this district up here, and you guys came up with a bunch of cool names. Um, but there's one in particular that I, I really liked. So we're going to draw this out. Oh man, I'm doing a horrible job of drawing this, but that's okay. Um, we're going to draw this out. Oh my god. That's, that never happened. There we go. And what did it auto-name it? It auto-named it something weird. Brer, Brerwood. That sounds like a posh neighborhood, but no. Um, one of you uh, suggested the name... Uh, Fancy man's mustache, and I thought, I thought this district actually looks like a mustache. So that's what we're gonna go with. This is now the mustache district, and look at that. Doesn't it kind of look like a, a mustache here? I think that's a cool name for this district. Uh, I also I, I fixed up the borders of this district here, uh, so that now it's just completely in the residential. Oh, I I did a poor job over there though. Um. And one of the things I want to experiment with as well is maybe, if we can click on that, there we go, maybe providing a policy that only affects this district. Um, instead of having a citywide, like we have this citywide power usage thing, um, posing and maybe recycling. Let's see how bad of a hit I take on money if I just turn on recycling for just that district. Let's speed it up a bit here. I don't see us taking much of a hit at all. Oh. It's going down a little bit, but no, like if we were to turn on something like water usage, water usage like takes all your money. I don't get it. Uh, I don't get why water usage, because it says only five cents a building. Recycling, it doesn't tell me, but um, 
like power usage, for example, Oso says just five cents a building, but I feel like power usage doesn't eat up nearly as much money as uh, as something like water usage. Anyway, um, you know what else we could do? Just uh, just just for kicks and giggles, we'll legalize it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see if that increases happiness. We'll see if that increases our money. That did increase our money. Hell yeah, it's legalized, y'all. People are people are blazing it up and. In Stumptonia. Our, our Stumptonites are having a, a grand old time. People are still banning us. Whatever. We'll deal with that in a second. You know what we're, we're going to do to deal with that, actually? Um, we're making such a crazy amount of money now. That's great. Uh, one of the things I thought about to maybe draw more workers towards the industry, um, because I, I just don't get it. I don't get what the problem is on why they can't get here now. We've got all of these roads... We've got highway connection, this connection, that connection, that connection, and our traffic is not that bad. Yeah, it's red. Yeah, okay. I take it back. It's a little bit bad. Um, but one of the things I thought we could experiment with um, is maybe building a subway. Doesn't a subway sound cool? Subway sounds pretty cool to me. Um, so I just upgraded that whole road to six lane, I believe. No? That's still two lane, it looks like. Or four lane, I'm sorry. I thought I upgraded it to six lane, though. Ah, there we go. Bam. Let's see if that helps our traffic at all. Maybe we'll do some of the way up here as well. We'll go, like, to there. Okay. That will piss off these residential guys over here. But you know what? We're about to turn them into high residential anyway. They can just take it. Let's experiment with subways. Doesn't subways sound cool? I grew up in New York City, y'all. I used to take the subway every day as a little elementary schooler. I love the subway. Um... That's right, I used, to, I used to go to PS3 back in the day. Public school number three. Um, and I used to go all the way from 110th Street down to, like, somewhere in Soho. Uh, wherever PS3 is located. Like, uh, I, I, can't, I can't remember that anymore. That was so long ago. Um, but yeah, I would, uh, I, I, I was a bold little third, fourth grader. I, I was taking the subway all by myself back in the day. Um, so we want to hit up all of these high density areas for sure. We're going to have to tear down some stuff to be able to do that, but that's okay. We're going to tear down that guy. Uh, and then we want to hit the main strip for sure. Wow, these cost a lot, but I think they're going to be I, I really hope, anyway, that they're going to be worth it. Um, and then we want to go... Where do we want to go after that? Do we want to just sort of loop back up? Yeah, we'll have a closed loop. We'll, we'll have a, a loop like this. Um, one more. Yeah, that just ate up a bunch of our money. And we'll, uh, we'll create some more stations around the industrial area. And we'll have one in Squiggleton. And we'll have maybe two in Posh Mustache Land. Woo! We are using up all our money. And we'll have one, I think, in Farmland. Does that sound good? That sounds okay. Um... Where do we want it to be in farmland? We'll have a bee right there. Okay. Now we need to hit play and get some more money. And we're going to connect all this up with pipes. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for subways. Eat fresh, y'all. Subway, eat fresh. How much does this cost? Oh, well, that's not that bad, actually. I was expecting these tunnels to cost like a crazy amount. Really, that's not too much worse than roads. Oh, man. 
We're going to have so many different subway lines. You know, back in the day, uh, when I was living in Manhattan, I used to, um... I used to get bagels in the subway stop. They used to make salt bagels that would, like, blow my mind. Salt bagels are still my absolute favorite bagel. And, you know, they just... Here in Portland, Oregon, they do not make bagels anywhere close to as good as the, um... I'm trying to think, like, H&H, &H, I believe, was the, 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 like, main, like, if you loved bagels, H&H &H was the place to get bagels. Um, let's see here. Bam. But yeah, a good salt bagel before I took the subway car all by myself to elementary school as a fourth grader. I was a badass back in the day. Um, all right. How much money do I have for that? Oh man, we are making money like crazy fast. I don't even care if these people are abandoning us. We're making money hand over fist. Get out of the way, message. Jesus. All right. And then we'll close this loop over here. Come on. Man, what are you guys thinking of this city so far? I'm thinking this is pretty rad. With the subway system, yeah, I think that's gonna that's gonna really help. At least I hope it will. Maybe we need one more stop up here. I don't know. Or maybe can I let's pause this. Um Can I move this? Yes. Maybe it should be like that instead. And then And then we'll draw tunnels to either side. That sounds good. We need 15 gram for that. Oh my god. Alright. So, once we are done with our mapping out our subway system, what do we want to focus on next? Uh, let's see, we're at 20,000 people. You know what we can do pretty soon? We can build the solar power plant. That's totally what I want to focus on. Um, that would be... Ah, that would really be my favorite thing. Um, solar player plant is going to be huge for us. Come on. 18,000 for that. It's crazy. Bam. Okay. And we need to connect up the there. I think we're going to go this direction. This is so cool. This game is just awesome. Um, man, 21,000 people. Okay. What else? I can tell you guys a little bit more about me living in New York. My mom was uh, there as a university student. Uh, she was doing a dance degree at NYU while I was there in elementary school. Um... I moved around a lot as a kid, though. I was I was there just for elementary school, really. But before that, I was uh I was living in Paris again for my mom's dance degree that she she needed to study in Paris. Um, and then yeah, I, I moved around like fourteen times as a kid just because we liked to move a whole a whole lot. Um, I think it was great. Uh, I I got to experience quite a lot of the country. It was um I still keep in contact with a lot of the friends that I, I met throughout the years. Um, but yeah, I lived in places like New Hampshire, Vermont, Indiana, um, California, a whole bunch, until we finally landed in, in Portland, which has really been, like, like, it, it's, it's, uh, out of all the places I lived, Portland, it's just, it's tough to beat. Portland's just so, so fantastic. Um, all right. That's great. That's perfect. I wonder, I hope trains can go both ways, but, yeah. Oh, you know what? Can we draw one more line and let the posh people go this way? Yes, perfect. All right, our city is now completely lined up, I think. Uh, I think that's good enough. So, we'll draw some, some routes. Um... Let's create a basic circle line here. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Bam. All right. And then we'll create a line for the squiggles to go to work, I think. 
Oh no, that's not going to work. Shoot! How's this going to work? You know what needed to happen? I need to delete... a few lines of that and have it connect to there. We might have to do that a few times. Squiggles to there and it'll loop around downtown and then back home. Perfect! Um, and then what? We need something for residents to go to their jobs down here as well. Bam. Okay. Um, we need something for these people to do. I think first we want these posh people to be shopping. Close that. Alright, and then we want these posh people to go to the farm? I don't really see them as farmers, but we, we drew the line anyway. Might as well. And maybe... Maybe this will be like a super long line. Like the farmers will have to take the super long route. Um, that will go all the way down there. Bam. Up to there. And close off. I think that's enough lines. Hit play. Let's check it out. Let's check out one of our subway stops. Um, we drew run right there. Are people using it? Yes. That's fantastic. I'm so stoked about that. All right. So, oh my god. How's our fire coverage? Fire coverage is horrible. There. Be happy. Grand City Solar Power Plant. Man, I, I feel like, yeah, that was only 4,000 people we had to get to go between those two. Um, we got that super quickly. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much fun. Um, okay, and we just got a huge influx of money for... Every time you hit one of those milestones, you get like a big chunk of money, which I think is, is great. Uh, what do we need? We need 80 grand. We're about to hit that. Let's go faster. And then... I think we'll just build it over here. Mm, yeah. Maybe next to the squiggles. I think next to the squiggles for now. I don't know. I'm torn. Do we want this like super clean, lovey, dovey power plant to be in our industry area? Do we want to just continue it down here? Because I think I might want to make this residential area bigger. Maybe I'll plop it over here, but then I have to figure out roads and shit over here. Urgh. Yeah, I need to figure out roads and shit over there. Oh, it's nuclear! Oh, we don't get that for a while, but nuclear... I, I, of all, um, real-life power solutions right now, nuclear is by far my, my favorite. I don't care what kind of, um, you know, the, the, the Japanese nuclear plant that that practically melted down during the tsunami, the, um, the Russian power plant that melted down in the 80s, um, Chernobyl. All, all of the drama that surrounds nuclear, it's still by far the best way to go. Um, so that's what we're going to aim for later. But, solar power plant for now. <sighs> you know what? We can always move it. That's, I, I need to always remind myself. We can always move it if we want to. So, we're going to draw... Can I... How big does it need to be? I can't just put it there, can I? Urgh! Dang it. You know what, that's fine. That's where it's gonna go. How's our power? Yes! Okay. That makes me super happy. Uh, I guess next thing, we got uh, the water treatment. Let's feel, let's feel green. This, this episode's all about going green. Oh, yes, and our, our garbage dumps are finally able to be moved. I wanted to move the garbage dumps away from here. Um, so. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Yeah. Start plopping them down there. How about this one up here? Not yet. 45% empty. Okay. Um, but this can be moved now. To there. And then we'll build maybe two more dumps and then another uh, incinerator plant down here. And we can build more dumps along this side if we need to. Um, again, I'm sort of trying to make the traffic as easy as possible for these garbage trucks. Um, so that they can get to the incinerator as quickly as possible. Because that's that's a real pain. Like, this garbage dump that I thought, you know, would be... It would just help the garbage problem along this area. As a matter of fact, the garbage trucks can service a huge area. It doesn't really matter where you plop them in the city. Um, the only place they're, they're having trouble servicing is up here. And I don't really care about the farmers. Um, but... So you can, you can, you don't have to like plop them close to residential. You can put them wherever the heck you want as long as they have really good roads. Uh, I feel like they, if you're just putting them on two lane roads, you're going to have problems. You need at least four lane roads for the garbage, uh, garbage dumps. And you always want, um, at the end of the road for there to be an incineration plant because it takes for flipping ever, uh, for the gar for the garbage dumps to empty themselves into those incineration plants. I've probably said that a bunch of times now. Um, I'm sorry for my repeating myself, but it's, I swear, garbage, staying on top of it is one of the trickier things in this game. Bam. All right. I feel like, I feel like we're doing really, oh my God. I was about to say, I feel like we're doing really good in our city before I destroyed my own road. Um, Okay. All right. Yeah, people aren't abandoning us as quickly. Businesses, anyway. Businesses aren't uh, aren't abandoning us as quickly. And look at mustache. Look at all of the high residential. I sort of um, I tiered it so that the the tall buildings would be in the back, so it doesn't ruin the view for the people that are living up front. Look at all these cute cottages. <gasps> I love it. These cottages are so cute! Aren't they? Th they're adorable! Oh my gosh! Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, my voice got all squeaky there. Okay. These people are still having a heck of a time finding workers, and I think just because it's driving me crazy, um. Why aren't we getting any workers here? Let's just. I, I think we're just gonna experiment, and we're gonna, um. We're going to build two blocks of residential, maybe three blocks of residential, really close to the farms. Like that. Um, maybe, yeah, let's just fill out this whole block, you know? Might as well. Oh my god. Nope. Bam. And one more. That's fine. Okay. And we will zone this to be just regular residential. All of that. And play. Uh, that's probably going to need water. Whole bunch of water. Pipes over here aren't looking that bad. People in the comments, you can feel free to comment about these pipes. Just don't ever talk to me about any of the other pipes in the city. But if you want to make a comment just about these pipes, feel free. Just don't look at any of the other pipes, especially these ones over here. Um, especially those ones over there. <laughs> All right. These guys are looking good. There's a small need for business. Maybe we'll zone a little bit of business, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, along here. Actually, like that. Perfect. And what else are they going to need up there? They are probably going to need some medical. Doesn't sound like a horrible idea to me. 
some medical over there. They could probably use a school. We'll see about that, though. Uh, they already have a fire department. Yep. Uh, school. Bam. And how about a park? Give people what they want. Give them a park. Small playground. Fine. And you know what? We haven't built any parks in a while. Let's build some big parks. Let's build some big old parks for people to... to... to blaze it up in. Bam. Uh, you as well. Could you use a big old park? You already have a big old park, actually. Um, how about this side, though? Big old park over there. Nice and happy. Look at that. All right. How are we feeling about our city, y'all? Our city's looking fantastic. Look at all of this high-density stuff popping up. I love it. We're going to have to... Let's just do it right now. Let's zone some more high-density residential. We're going to do it like this. All of that. I'm sorry. It's moving day. Bam. We want to keep on expanding those tall buildings, man. And you know what? While we're while we're thinking about it, let's uh let's build some more monuments and stuff. We got all this money. Let's check out some of the stuff we've unlocked. Um, a transport tower. I feel like we've earned the transport tower now. Uh, now that we have the subway station. Heck yeah. Let's build this transport tower like right in the center of downtown. That sounds cool to me. Or maybe in the center of the business district. Already occupied. Are these blocks just too small? How about, yeah, how about over here? Like, like right there. Well, that's going to cause a bunch of happiness, though. I want the happiness to really be... Uh, I want these people to benefit from the happiness that this is going to cause. Shoot. Shoot! Man... All right, I'll figure out the, the transport tower. We'll get that figured out before the next time. Ooh! Yes. Yes to the opera house. Opera house is gonna get plopped. Let's plop it over here in this new district that I built all on this side, right? Yeah! Oh man, we got some other really cool sp stuff. Expo Center, High Interest Tower. Opera House, look at how freaking awesome that is. Oh my God, we need to name it something like the, the Lord and... <laughs> oh my God, okay. Uh, Lord and Lady, Lord and Lady, 80s. 80, no. Uh, 80s slow jams. Slow jams. Nope. Nope. Screw it. I'm not even going to rename it because I can't spell right now. Y'all saw me spell that wrong. It's fine. Varsity is looking fantastic, y'all. This is looking so good. All right. Let's, let's rename a couple of people. Let's rename a couple of people. Oh. Oh. Are these all the elementary schoolers? Are these people waiting for the bus. Yeah. There's subway now, people. Maybe I should draw another line that runs through the center of this residential so that people don't have to wait so long for the bus. Or maybe I should just make more bus lines. Um, let's rename some people, though. Oh, there's a cop. I'd like to rename a police officer. Steven. You know what? Steven? I'm a big fan of Stevens. So you're about to be Stephen Fry. Bam. And what else we got? We got Tony Parker. <laughs> it's an I, isn't it? Skeletony? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we want to 
Spell Skeletone. That's probably spelled incorrectly, and I don't care. He's a well-educated Skeletone. Happy Face Travel Agency. We have a travel agency? We don't even have an airport. I hope we can get an airport soon. Um, when can we get an airport? A while. 70,000. We're going to be there pretty soon. We can get uh, we can get ships at 60, uh, 36,000. You know, while we're talking about ships, I think the next uh, tile I want to unlock is maybe this one down here because there's like a cargo ship lane thing that you can... Uh, you can take advantage, and you can take advantage of the trains down there, too. We aren't connected to any train lines right now, so that, I think, would be beneficial for both of those. Um, man, our city's just running so smoothly, except for these businesses that are abandoning us like crazy. I wish that we could figure out why they're abandoning us. I, I just... People in the comments, please let me know if you have any suggestions about why they're abandoning us. Yeah, let, g give me a holler, because I'm, I'm pretty clueless right now. Um... You can stop, you can stop. Uh, all right, so I think I think at this point we're we're pretty solid. Um, let me let me think here. What do we want to do next? What, what's something that I, I need some some advice on? Let me know if you guys think that uh, that built, buying this tile down here is my my best next move. Um, and if so, what should we fill out this area with uh, besides? Besides the cargo ship thing and the train thing that I was talking about, should we go for more residential down here? Or maybe we should just have this be our dedicated, like, transportation area. Like, we could have our airport down here, too. That might be cool. Um, and if we do buy this tile, then that creates, like, a whole bunch of more riverfront area here that we could take advantage of. What's the natural resources look like? There's a whole bunch more oil. Um, so, yeah, maybe... I never really got a clear answer on whether or not we can export oil for money, or if oil's really just good for the power plant. I'm, I'm still kind of clueless on that. So I'm still not 100% thrilled on going for oil, but if we can make tons of money off of it, then I'll do it. And with that, I'm just going to end with this view here of the cute little houses. One of them's burned down. Um, but god, this 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 house row here is, is freaking fantastic. You know what? I think I, I am going to redistrict just this house row, and I want a cute name for what these little cottages should be called because these are like the cutest damn things in the world. They're so cute. Okay, y'all give me a good name for this uh, this row of colorful river houses here. Uh, like the the cutesy, I don't know, uh, uh, the, the Tiki Tacky District or something like that because they're all like the same. Uh, that, that's what I'm, I'm thinking of right now. Anyway, give, give, holler at me in the comments with some good name suggestions for these. With that, I've been Ash, we've been stumped, and if you like this video, give us a like, give us a favorite, be sure to subscribe, I'll catch you all next time.